What's up everybody? Welcome back to the stream. How's everyone doing? Wait, why is that not working? Why is that not working? Wait. Hold the phone. Why is... Wait, that should be working. You gotta be joking. Wait one second. One second, everyone. Time to see. I turn that on. Yo, what's up everyone? Is that not... Mm. Oh, come... Okay, but like... It should be fine because... Why'd the bot break? No! The bot... The bot shouldn't break. It literally... Oh my goodness. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Well, the other stream... The vertical one shouldn't even have... It shouldn't even have chat. I turned the chat off in the vertical one. So that shouldn't even be a thing. Oh my god, come on. Load, computer, load. Load! So how's everyone doing? <laughs> this shouldn't... Yeah, it's literally turned off. Yeah, you're off. So I can't even... Okay, okay, hold on. Log out. Frick this. Frick this. Yeah, vertical doesn't have a chat, so like this should be. Mm. Hold on. It should. This should fix it, because it's fixed it in the past. Continue. Allow. Come on. Come on. Okay, okay. Nope, it's not there. Oh my god, where am I going? 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 Cloudbot, here we go. Betting. What happens if I do that? Oh, why are you not. Why would you not work? You literally. Supposed you're supposed to be working right now. Why would you why would you not work? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cancel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, this is obnoxious. This is so mm. Okay, where is the where is the stupid here we go? Trash this. Delete. Oh my god. Log out. Get rid of that. Hold on. Okay. 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 This will work. This will work. I'm trying to think. What if I do... Stress levels. <laughs> Okay, so get rid of that. Docs. Oh my god. Chat. Pull that back in. Get that back going live. Okay. I'll go back into the, all this. This is so obnoxious. This it's supposed it's supposed to be working. Now, okay. Now, what on earth? Where's my, where's my giveaway thing? Ser seriously? Ser are you serious? It, did it get, hold on, did it get messed up on the back end? Did it, is it not? This is, this is exact, this is what I want, yeah. This is exact, this is exactly what I want. This is, exa <laughs> this is exactly what I want, yeah. Okay. This is, it's so, <laughs> it's just so obnoxious. It's literally just like not, why are you not even reading? Okay, I'm gonna... 
get rid of you, save. Streamlabs is a moderator. Or, oh god, how do I do that? Okay. Add Streamlabs as a moderator. I gotta add them back in now, hopefully. Here we go. Be a freaking moderator. Do what you're supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do. Confirm. Get rid of that. Oh my god. What's going on? Why? No. Not to not tonight. Oh my god. Yes, yeah, seriously. No Pokemon were lost, but the bot is being lost. Why is this happening? Why? Come on, come. What if I cancel, cancel. Turn it off, turn it back on again. Okay, try, try it now, try it now. Try doing like a bag command now. Uh... Why would this, why would this not work? Yes, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my God, oh. Boom, there we go. Oh my god. Well, welcome to the channel, everyone. Welcome back to Corn's Quest. <laughs> What's up, Cynical? What's up, Dat Frog? What's up, Aster? What's up, Timbo? What is up, Mavis? What is up? Everyone else joining? <laughs> How is everyone doing? Welcome back to this live stream. Now we finally got our bot figured out. This is ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Now we're going. Now we're rolling. And we needed the bot to work because tonight we're going to be doing a very special thing. I'm going to hop in here. Fun fact, um, someone donated anonymously $65. So we are now at $300 and one cent towards our goal of $1,000. And Jamer is no longer, Jamer is no longer the head donator. It is now just some anonymous person, some anonymous soul that donated $65. So, congrats to that person. <laughs> congrats to that person that stumbled upon it and just donated when we weren't live. Props to them. Um, but, we are going to be doing a raffle tonight. The raffle is currently going. Um, where you can purchase a ticket. It is free. And what happens is, you enter the raffle to send me a Pokemon. Because Timbo has... 5,000 that they want to redeem, he just doesn't have a system as of right now. So I will be picking one lucky quester to send me something after we defeat the water gym. So we are gonna go defeat, we're gonna go fight the water gym and after the water gym, I'm picking someone to send me a Pokemon. And you can send me any Pokemon you want. You can send me any Pokemon. They can be Pokemon that evolve through trade. They can be Pokemon that are only found in Violet. They can be Pokemon that maybe for this run where we don't have, like we can't use certain Pokemon types, you can send me like ghost types. You can send me dragon types that will be like mythical Pokemon. You can send me just the Pokemon you want to see. But this is what we're doing tonight. I hope everyone is very excited. And how is everyone doing? How is everyone's Tuesday? I, did I fight this guy already? Oh! Yo, this thing just came and totally attacked me. You have options? I love it. I love to hear that you have options. <laughs> there goes Capsa Kid. That's funny. I got my... So, if, you got, if you're in the Discord, you'll know I started... Yeah, you can redeem it whenever you want, Timbo. All you... Like, you're just gonna... All you have to do to redeem it is that that's just so you can clear out your um, uh, your gold pieces. 
but we will pick someone after uh no you can only enter the raffle once i believe i don't think you can enter multiple times i think it's a one and done type of thing so once you're in you're in and then it will pick someone at random and timbo just redeemed trade which means they just got rid of all five thousand of their gold i mean so you can send me another Don fan? I I wouldn't. <laughs> like, I mean, it'd be nice. I do like Don fan, but I mean, I feel like you can only do so much with Don fan, you know? Like, I feel like there's tons of other Pokemon that would be just as good to have in the roster. So I'm very intrigued to see what people have. So also, if you get selected, you need to have a Pokemon ready. I won't wait for you. If you don't have one ready, then I will go to the next person. And you have to have your game system up. That's why we're going with after this gym. You'll know what's up. Yo, what's up, Callan? The raffle cost nothing. This is in lieu of Timbo not having an operational switch right now. <laughs> Which is very sad. It sucks that Timbo earned all those gold pieces and could not redeem it himself but that's why we're doing this raffle to get everyone else a chance to send me something so timbo so timbo's gold doesn't go to waste that's so sad timbo it's so sad though i have heard that we're gonna be a new a new switch console is gonna be in the works so that's terrifying i don't really my wallet is not going to be happy about that. My wallet is going to be super upset. And speaking of wallets, we have to go return this guy's wallet, which is really, really cute. I wish I had his wallet. But I really... I just don't... I don't want... I don't want another system. Yeah, the rumored Switch 2. I don't want it. Mainly because... I just don't want... I just don't want to have to pay for another system. Yo, what up, Devin? Welcome. Welcome to Chili's. What's your go-to Chili's order? You go for the baby back ribs or what? But I say, yeah, I've heard that it'll either be after Legend ZA or it's going to be like Deering. So it'll be like a simultaneous release. So we'll get Pokemon Legend ZA and then we'll also get... Um... Pokemon or like we'll get the new switch or something I don't know it's all incredibly incredibly confusing yeah, seriously oh my god and I bought my switch late because I got I got back into the switch system very just like oh I think this will be fun I wasn't doing any sort of content creation at the time so it wasn't like a thing of, oh, I'm really, really into us. This was my gateway back into the world of gaming and everything. And it's just like, ah, oh. <laughs> I'm like, no, I don't want to have to now feel like that I really, 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 really want a system. Like, I don't want to feel that pressure of, like, well, I want to play the newest games. I want to be a part of the community. I want to be a part of everything. But, uh, there's a very high chance that that's going to be a thing, and I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to that. Yeah, you got the Switch with Breath of the Wild. That's crazy. That's crazy. I just played on, like, oh, Pontiard? Yeah, Switch Pokemon. Actually, you, because I can burn you. Um, I remember, like, my buddy had a Switch, and I loved it, and that's where I was like, you know what, I think I need one of these for myself. And so I got one cheap from someone off Facebook Marketplace, and it's been fantastic. It's been so much fun. The new Super Lucky's Tale? No, I don't even know what that is. What is that? I'm, color, color me intrigued, Devin. I want to know what you're talking about. I have no idea what that is, and that sounds very interesting. Um, no, I have not. I'm so, I I'm so bad at like playing new games. I think the new, I think the newest game I played was uh, One Piece Odyssey. I think that's been the, I think that's been like 
the newest game I've played. Otherwise, I've primarily been playing Pokemon games. Or, like, Pokemon ROM hacks. I've been just... Because that's part of the channel where I'm like, Oh, I need to review Pokemon games. So I've been doing that as well. And that's just a good time. But, yeah, it's been... It's been a little bit of a challenge to play new games. Which, you know, that, it just comes... It comes with the territory. It comes with the territory. You know, you gotta make content. You gotta keep staying up to date on things. Wait! That sounds weirdly familiar. I feel like I have actually heard of that. Now that you say that, I feel like I have heard of it. What do you- Oh, is this Arvin? Ah, uh, Arvin, I don't want to fight. I'm not fighting the Titan right now. I wish you could specify what you were doing in the game. Like, no, I'm not going to go fight. I'm, I'm doing, like, I'm doing one mission right now. I'm not going to be doing two missions at once. That's, like, the one, that's, I feel like, the one thing that, I feel like if you set your destination, you should be prevented from where am i like if you set your destination you should be prevented from like being able to um oh crap am i allowing myself to get static spawns yeah um i think we're have we been to this area yet i don't know oh my god so, I'm bouncing back and forth between Pokemon. I think I'm... So, I think I'm skipping this area right now. Um, I might skip it all together and just do... Because I don't want to, like, catch a Pokemon and then have y'all send me a Pokemon just to get it booted out. Like, you know what I mean? I don't really want to, like, do that. So, I feel like I should just wait... Oh, my bad. Uh, no. So, like, that stuff, yeah. Like, I won't be doing that. Like, I'm not gonna go back and specifically get Pokemon. Because, like, the idea is it. it's like a Nuzlocke of, like, oh, in the grass. I'm just running around. But, obviously, that's not always the case type of thing. Just because, you know, you gotta... Uh, you can see the Pokemon. So, like, you gotta kind of... You gotta kind of do the best you can with it. But yeah, no, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go back and get other Pokemon that like I missed. It's just gonna be usually what I've been doing is just yeah, like I would just run in a straight line and whenever I hit I hit. And that's yeah, that's all. But yeah. So yeah, we're just here doing another charity continuing the charity stream. We have one week. We got one week until it comes to an end on April 22nd, which is Earth Day. The charity stream and this run comes to an end. Just like how that Tauros just tried to end us. <laughs> Tauros was like, nah, not today, not today. God, those things are like ready. Tauros is ready to take us down. But that's okay. Oh, is it? I think it might be then. Oh, God. <laughs> I think it might be. I didn't realize that. I didn't realize that. It... It must be. Now, we could always try to finish it. We could always try to finish the run. We just won't be raising the money for charity. Oh, then yeah. Yeah, this will be... This would be technically it. Though, I think we will... Um, we'll pro I think we'll probably keep her going just to, like see if we get to be champion we're doing really well for having the we had to restart the game once but we're actually doing really well so i might just continue it because i'm also gonna need to figure out like what to do for my next thing like <laughs> i don't know what the next fun stream thing is gonna be so that'll be interesting to see what we can come up with i have some ideas i have some ideas but we'll see how they pan out no deaths uh oh yeah we haven't had we haven't had a death 
since, yeah, like last week and stuff. Hey, later, Callan. I hope you make it back for the um, raffle. The raffle will be done after we do the, um, what do you call it? After, ah, we do the gym. I was like, what do you, what do you call the thing we're about to go do right now? The gym. We're going to try to do the gym. All right. So now we're going to keep fighting these guys, these goobers, these goobers. <laughs> a little rufflet. So let's do a little swippy swap. Let's go to you. Cherry, I feel like is getting a lot of Cherry's doing good now. I feel like Cherry is actually holding its own in battle, which is really, really, really nice. Cause I was nervous about Cherry. I was really nervous about little old Cherry here. Right? Oh my God. Yeah. He's like, yay, I lost. And you're like, oh, really? What do you want to lose? What do you want to lose? <laughs> Oh my gosh, but yeah, I hope everyone had a great day. My day started off pretty solid. Um, I did get to see, as I shared in the Discord, the cool little, um, what do you call it? We were, I was hanging out with the Aldabra Tortoise today. So that was awesome. Yeah, Cherry has another uh, evolution. Cherry has another evolution. What's up, Devin? What, I'm, what's up? What's up, bro? Bro. Okay, does this guy... Did I fight enough people? But yeah, Cherry has... Because it evolves into... Um... Uh, what do you call it? It's the... He's, it's a upright coal guy. Um, oh, God. What is it called? What is it? I can't remember what it's... I th uh, coal? Isn't... Colossal! Yeah! Colossal! At 34? Oh my god. I guess that makes some sense. Cherry did just evolve. We just got it to Coal Cart. Okay. Though, the Colossal Evolution line, it kind of confuses me. Because... It's... It starts out as Roly Coley. Which is... Obviously, it rolls around... And then it is Carcoal. So it's like a cart. Because it also rolls around. But then there's Colossal. Which is just a big mound of coal. So that's what's conf that's what's confusing me is like Why? <laughs> like what? Like it's very confusing because it, like I feel like it breaks the I feel like it breaks its um its gimmick aside from oh it's still coal but it's not a cart. Okay, don't worry. We're not going to lose it on Kofu because we still have to fight this little guy. We have to fight his little protege. Okay, Devin, I'm going to be completely honest. Like, a way to get my attention is not by being annoying. I'm sorry if that's, like, aggressive. Because it's probably, it's honestly not aggressive. But, yeah, spamming the same message over and over again is a great way for me just to blatantly ignore you. I will be completely honest. And, yeah. I, if you want to have fun, go for it. But spam, spam, spamming messages is annoying. Yeah, so, yeah. So, yeah, it must say, okay, it does tell, it tells a story. Okay, I get you. I get you. It tell you, like, I guess it does, it does tell a story. I should. That's right, yeah, because I guess, because it's, it works its way up. But, like, the, the first two are so, like, they're so, like, cart-based. Like, they feel, like, that's where I guess I get, I get confused. Like, it does make sense that it is that full, it's a full story of like, oh, yeah, like, it is a piece of coal into a coal cart, into a, like, coal furnace. 
But why are the first two so car heavy? Like, why are they such, like, little rolly guys, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe it's, maybe it's, un maybe I'm overthinking it. That's just... Maybe, maybe it's just a theory. I don't know. Who knows? But it is cool. I do like it. It is cool. Got a little clauncher. Got a little clauncher out here. Let's go with Spark. This thing's gonna die. I have a feeling we're gonna we're set up rather well for <laughs> for Kofu. I I'm not too nervous because we got a really solid grass type and a really solid electric type. Which is all we need. Because he doesn't have... I don't even think... Well, even if he does use a Wish Cash, or like if he does use a Water Ground type, it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you, Cynical, for posting that. That's awesome. I always forget that they still do... They still roll those out. I always forget. I always forget. The Burt... Yeah, seriously. Lemon is a fantastic Pokemon to have. Lemon is just, like, hands down a really, a really solid Pokemon to have across the board. <laughs> oh, God, we gotta do... I forgot his thing is... We have to, like, throw our money away. Wait, what? You can get the anime Spurgatito? That's sick! That's, that's cool. Wait, I didn't know that. He, yeah, I don't know what his hair situation is. He is a very, very confusing character. Because he either has hair in eyebrows, or he has two sets of eyebrows. I feel like he has two sets of eyebrows. And it, that's creepy to me. It's like in X and Y, the grass gym leader has a beard with, like, that just juts out at the sides. It's really, it doesn't look like a beard. It looks very bizarre. Also, seeing this as a Hoenn item, I seriously thought... I'm gonna say 35. I seriously thought the next thing we were gonna get was gonna be in Hoenn because of this seaweed. I see. I seriously thought we were getting a Hoenn game next because of the CU. I thought it was a hidden thing. I thought it was a hidden thing, and I'm like, oh, it's not. We're going to Kalos. I I would have loved to go back to Hoenn, but I guess Hoenn had its Hoenn had its moments. I guess, even though I think it deserves way more. Cause I, I like Hoenn. People that say there's too much water in Hoenn, I don't, I don't think that's true. I don't think that's true. Okay, yeah, he does, he does look like he eats glue, Mavis. That is, that is not inaccurate. That's not, that's not inaccurate. He does look kind of like he eats glue. Okay, we're setting that as our destination. We should go heal. And then we can go take on the gym after we fight some people, I'm sure, in the uh, desert. We can still fight some desert people. Legends Rayquaza would be pretty cool. That would be, though, honestly, I think it'd be really cool to do a Legends, like, Deoxys. That, I think that would really throw people for a loop if we did, if we got a Legends Deoxys... Oh, people would be shook. No one would know what to do. Especially if you made it based in the future. If you made it based in the future, that'd be dope. Would that not be the coolest thing ever? That would be so cool. Legends Deoxys. And then you get to, like, travel, like, through space or, like, Space is an intricate part of it all. Like that, it just, it just, it's just, a, it's a cool idea. I think it'd be really cool. But I say, Legend ZA, I think is gonna be really, really fun. I am curious to see what it's gonna look like. 
because we obviously have open world, but I'm hoping that because it's a Legends game, it'll be a little bit more traditional to Legends Arceus. Oh crap, I thought that was a... I thought that was an I I didn't think it was... I thought that was an item! I didn't think that was a Pokemon. <laughs> hey, thank you for subscribing, three dogs. Thank you so much, homie. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Corn's Quest. All right, let's go fight more people. See that, like a game with every a game with every region would be cool, but that would be hard. That would be really, really hard to do, just because like there's so like there's a lot that like goes into like these games that's i think the biggest thing is that there's actually a ton that goes into them and like how do you how would you manage that the best i could come up with in my head of how we could have a game with every region is you have two sets of games where with all the even generations on one game and then you have all the odd generations on another game and there would be no new no new region it would just be like this collector's edition of you get to play all the regions um based on the game you get and there are what do you call it um like level caps on the gyms so it's like if you go to a new region it's like hey cool like thanks for uh, like join this region here's a starter Pokemon to pick from um, to help you get uh, to help you get your journey started but then also like you could use Pokemon from previous gen like from the previous regions you just went to so long as they were like if you're at the first gym under level 10 or something like that I think that would be cool but I think that would be a massive undertaking I think that would be absolutely insane <laughs> like I, I, don't, I don't think that would actually work yo what a blue thanks for lurking i appreciate it homie we love a good lurk we get all the hypes let's go wigglytuff Ooh, i'm gonna actually switch pokemon because it's a because it is actually a uh normal fairy type in this game forgot about that I totally, totally forgot it's a normal fairy type, so I'm glad I didn't keep, glad I didn't keep that Pokemon out there. Oh my gosh, what is up? A good night, a good night, because we're out here raising money for the World Wildlife Fund. Um, where we are, like, yeah, we're at $300 now, which is insane. I guess I literally booted up the stream, and all of a sudden, we just had $300 in here, a $65 donation. I don't know who did it, but thank you. And, yeah, I mean, that's the thing, is that all of this money goes to such a good cause because we are helping the World Wildlife Fund raise money for climate change. We're trying to help raise awareness for climate change and help combat it. And that's, again, super important because we literally all live on the Earth. And we <laughs> just got to take care of it. Oh, I don't care about that. And that's like the hardest thing about it is that like you got to convince people that like making a change is worth their time but we over here at Korin's quest we've had an amazing community yes yeah, save the birds save the birds like the cassowary save the birds like the emu save the birds like ostriches there's lots of, there's lots of cool birds there's even oh so I was reminded today, I was reminded of a really, probably one of my favorite birds. Um, does anyone know what a Cory Bustard is? Has anyone ever heard of that? It is, I believe, the largest flying bird. It's called the Cory Buster. And it, or Cory Bustard. And it has this ability, the males have this ability where they can inflate their neck where it's just a big ball and they make these hilarious noises i was reminded of that because at the zoo today i was looking back at old old footage that i had 
and I have I have footage of the Cory Buster puffing out its neck and making its like big low thumping sound. It was super cool. Oh my god! But they are such cool birds. They are such cool, unique birds. And they they need to be saved too because actually they were um, not enough zoos have them to where they can have what's called a species survival plan. So like, what kind of sucks is that. They're not necessarily, I don't think, deemed as, like, you know, in any sort of, like, critical danger. But it's one of those things of just not enough zoos and not enough people know about them and are, like, help protect them. So, like, they could kind of slowly trickle down, I think, which is a big bummer for the Cory Buster. Because they are, I had no idea what they were until I started my job. I had no idea what it was until I saw it. And it is just a baffling, baffling bird. Oh, for real? That's crazy. They have, wait, they have the largest, like, legs of the flying bird. That's nuts. Yeah, but I say shoebill storks. Those things are massive. Those are huge. We even got one on the bottom of the stream here. We even got one hanging out down there. Got the shoebill stork. Those things are gnarly. Those things are super gnarly. Sunny D is still alive, but Sunny D is in the box because Sunny D had to be put in the box. Because uh, it was the lowest level Pokemon when we got a new Pokemon, so it had to be boxed. But. That's okay. Sunny D is living. Sunny D is alive. That's all that matters. That is all that matters. I know they sound like literal guns. It's it's inc it's incredibly alarming that they can sound like a literal like machine gun. But yeah, they are like dinosaurs come to life. It's, ab it's absolutely terrifying. 75. How much is this? 60. Let's get rid of Indoor. I'll just swap that out. Yeah, they're hu they're huge, but they don't really ever fly. They like hardly ever <laughs> like fly around. They just kind of like walk. They do fly. But they're just hard to see. like. No one really sees them fly, and so it's really it's really kind of funny because it's like, why on earth would like what? Ooh, Triceratops. Triceratops is a really cool dinosaur. I think. Yeah, what is everyone's favorite dinosaur? I feel like I really like. I gotta think kind of carefully about this. I. I want to say, I kind of want to say Velociraptors might be one of my favorites. I don't know. There's a lot of carnivores that I think are really, really, really cool. I think they're really, really cool. But I don't know. Stegosaurus is also really cool. Or like the big long neck dinosaurs. Those are also just really cool. Those are really, really cool. They hunt ducks? Oh my god. But I say, I, ha I do, yeah, I heard that they... How they hunt is literally, even if they're hunting fish, they just kind of snap their heads. Like, they just snap their heads off. Which is really scary. That's a weird adaptation. That it's like, they deliberately go for, like, the head. It's smart, because then at least, you know, it can't, it can't put up a fight, but it's still just like, whoa. That's an aggressive strategy. Oh, the Utah Raptors. Yeah. <laughs> Those are so cool. Spinosaurus. That's also a cool one. Um, I think Ankylosaurus is also pretty cool. Just because, like, they have the big clubbed um, tails. Like, that's just, like, God, can you imagine having a wrecking ball attached to you? It's an, dinosaurs are nuts in general. I'm really surprised there's not more media, like, covering them for, like, games and stuff like that. Like, things like Pokemon, where it's, like, 
like there was a di I think there was a dinosaur hunt like a dinosaur hunter slash battling game for the DS. Oh, we got earthquake! Shut up! Yeah, we got earthquake! Oh, you know who's about to learn this dope move? How can Don Fan learn Trailblaze? That seems wrong. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? I don't care about stomping Dan. Earthquake! Yeah! This thing's about to be a menace. Bulldoze. Get rid of that. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Wait, you got a- wait, what? You got attacked by a wrecking ball? How? How does that work? Also, get ready for your bets, y'all. Get ready for your bets. Because we gotta see how many Pokemon am I gonna lose going up against this guy. Place your bets, place your bets. We're gonna see how... Will I win or lose going- oh, I can't go that way. Will I win or will I lose? And just like Streamlabs is saying, remember to donate to the cause. Remember to donate to the cause. Uh, it's all just fantastic. It's great, great stuff we're doing over here. Trying to raise money for our beautiful, beautiful planet with all these beautiful, beautiful animals and all the amazing uh, prehistoric animals that we can find deep in the ground. It's crazy. But I say get your bets in. It's interesting. It's kind of an interesting dynamic right now because we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good. But will we get... Will we get humbled? That's ultimately what I think we're, we gotta figure out, is will we become humbled? I have... Actually, I have one grass type on the current team. So here's the current team. We have Onion, which is a grass fighting type. We got Cherry, which is a, a rock fire type. Cactus, a pure ground type. Chocula, a normal type. Howard, a water type. And Lemon the electric flying type which i'm putting out front because it will do the best against whatever he throws out first it's gonna be a it's an it's gonna be an interesting battle let me tell you it's gonna be an interesting battle i'm a little i'm a little nervy i'm a little nervous but we'll see we'll see and then yeah i was about to say get your raffle tickets in because after this gym battle, I'm picking someone to send me a Pokemon. We will have Timbo's Redemption, where someone's Pokemon is getting added to the team. So I hope y'all have Pokemon tra like, trained up. We got Rika, super cool. An extra spice bet? What is that? What is this extra spicy bet? I'm... I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. Rika is a really cool person. Like, there's they have such a cool concept to them. And they got a pretty fun team. You gotta love you gotta love ground types. You gotta love the ground types. As as someone that also uses a lot of ground types, you gotta enjoy it. Yo, welcome to the Discord. Abacreamy. Abacream? Abacreamy? I don't know how to say it. Sorry, <laughs> sorry if I butchered that. But welcome to this to the Discord, homie. Welcome to the Discord. If you can finish the stream tonight without losing a mon, oh my god! I don't think I can finish the stream. Oh wait, if I can just finish the stream without losing a Pokemon, oh that's easy. That's easy. Yeah, I mean you better you better send a list of all the Pokemon that are gonna be dead because that's easy we're we're rocking this game we're rocking it we haven't lost a pokemon in so long and i don't plan on losing one tonight so go for it bet all right time to take down this kofu now remember once it get your bets in once it starts the betting is closed we have oh crap We got 786 gold pieces on the line. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go! <laughs> oh, but I love Jinx! The betting is closed. Let's do this. <laughs> About to say, you might have to give it up. You might have to give it up! I'm gonna do my best not to lose a Pokemon. I'm pre I'm feeling pretty confident. This isn't like this isn't like the egg lock where I was getting sent an egg that had to start at level one every time. These Pokemon have been trained up. These Pokemon have been with me. They know what's up. And they will not let me down. They will not let us down. So let's do this. Also, can someone look up if Breloom is weak to ice type moves? Can someone please look that up for me? I need to know. You know what? Actually, no, I don't need to know. Yo, what up, Long Fork? Welcome, welcome. Just in time, we are about to wreck this guy. It is cool. I'm going to go with a whole different approach then. We're going to the brand new, I'm just gonna right out the bat. Cause now I'm not gonna be weak to ice types because I'm a electric? Oh crap. I thought I was an ele ah. Oops. Oopsies. I did not. <laughs> I thought I was an electric terror type. Whoops. Oh well. You know, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. A Luxrio? Um, I'm gonna switch. Just to. <laughs> Just to play it safe. Oops. Although, to be fair, like. I wasn't gonna terrestrialize Onion either because I I don't think that would have been a good idea. Yeah, faster! Let's go, Onion! Quick claw! Get that leech seed getting in there! Yeah! <laughs> it doesn't? Yeah! I'm glad it doesn't. That's good to know. About to say, I knew it was a. Uh, I know it's normally an ice fighting type. So, that's cool. That's good to know. I'm glad that it doesn't have any sort of... Uh... <laughs> Ice-type move. That's... That's nice. Ooh. I'm gonna keep battling. Because I want to get, I want, I want to leech seed it. But I, I gotta be faster than this thing. I gotta mega drain it. That way I can hopefully. There ain't, there ain't no way this thing's faster than me. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. I know I just got hit by the gooey, but like. This thing is so big. There ain't no way it's faster than a Breloom. Yeah, I knew it wasn't. How did that not do all that much damage? Slam? Oh, that was... <laughs> I paralyzed it. Let's go. That's what we're hope. That's what we're looking for here. That's what we're looking for. Let's get these slow burn going. Slam again. I'm not too nervous about that. Here we go. Leech seed. Oh my god. This is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> Neat, neat. Get a little bag. 
But I say, yeah, like, it's a physical attacker, so I just gotta, I just gotta make sure I'm healed up, and then... Mm, gotta just take it out, just gotta take it out. Oh, and it's paralyzed. It's paralyzed. That's how you do it. That is how you do it. Is, wait, is Mega Drain a, oh, it is a special attack. That's kind of funny. Oh, yeah, let's get this... Get that low sweep going. This thing's KO'd. Easy. Come on, Berloom! There you go. Yep. Speed fell. Slam. Yeah, but... And... Is this gonna knock it out? No, it's really close, though. Force Palm. And just like that, Questers. We took down... <laughs> <laughs> we took down this super easy <laughs> I mean that was barely anything that was barely a fight those that picked none congrats on winning and now it's gonna be time to do the raffle Once we get through all this talking, we're gonna do the raffle. Which I hope everyone has Pokemon ready to send me. I'm very intrigued to see what gets sent. I'm very, very intrigued, y'all. Oh my god. Let's go, let's go, let's go! <laughs> Alright, we got chilling water. Woo! Fun. Okay. I think I talked to someone here, don't I? And then what do I go next? Do I go. Do I go fight Larry next? Is that what I do? What is the next, what's, what's my next location after this? Who's my next, who's my next challenger? Is it the Titan? No, it's not. It's not Great Tusk, is it? I feel like I could easily take down Great Tusk, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna mess with it. Okay. Who is ready to do the raffle? Let's go questers. Let's go and close the entries. We got five people in there. Pick the winner. And the winner is Blue! Blue, do you have a Pokemon ready to go? Oh, do you not have a Pokemon? Is there no, do, you, do you not have a Pokemon? Well, we gotta pick someone else. What do you, what's that? What does that mean? Or like, do, do you have candies? Do you have candies you can just give it really, really fast? Give it candies really, really fast. See, you don't have to do you don't have to do any of that. If it's if it's at a decent level, ready? Okay. 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 This one's for you, Blue. This one's for you. Let's see what what gets sent. Oh my god, we have so many Pokemon that are level 30. Oh god, this is gonna be so tough to. It's gonna be tough. Oh, I gotta... Stupid. Get out of here. But I say, yeah, don't... <laughs> if you send me a level 100 Pokemon, I probably can't use it. Mainly because it can't... <laughs> it can't do anything! I won't be able to do anything with it. It'll just be... Defiant. Alright, Blue. Link Trade... Your code blue is going to be as follows. 
It's a bunch of twos and then a five and an eight at the end of it. So blue, search for this. Send me your Pokemon. Send me what it is. I am so intrigued of what it might be. I, it can be any, you can send me any Pokemon. I just keep it somewhat of a reasonable <laughs> level. Do this again for every major battle? Blue, where you at? Where you at? I can't, this is, this is just because Timbo does not have an operating switch right now. This is just because Timbo has no operating switch. Normally, you'd have to donate 5,000 gold pieces. So. Oh, had to count the twos. Yeah, there's a lot. It's like all but the last two. <laughs> there's a lot. Yeah, get that hype. Get those hypes going, y'all. Oops. Let's try again. I'm so excited to see what you send me, cause like there's so many, there's gonna be so many cool Pokemon, and I don't even know what's gonna be. It could even be from the DLCs. No one knows. Nobody knows. Do do do. Oh my God! What in the heck? <laughs> Is it, so do you have all twos and then a five and an eight at the end? Yo, what up zero? Welcome. Welcome homie. Yeah, I literally bought it for like the, this purpose. No, yeah, because I traded with Aster. See, that's the worst, is when the game lets you be an offline, and, and tr you, it allows you to try and, like, do online features. Well, welcome, Zero. I'm glad Cynical informed you about this stream. We like to have a lot of fun. You promote- Thank you, Cynical! Thank you! Well, welcome, welcome to those of you that were brought over through Cynical. I appreciate it. Welcome to Corn's Quest. We're playing Pokemon Scarlet for the World Wildlife Fund, raising money for, uh, what do you call it? For wildlife. That's what it is. <laughs> oh my god. How funny that this game lets you use online features while offline. Oh my gosh. This is always, this is always super fun. So, everyone that's new to the channel, what is your favorite Pokemon? What is your favorite? Ah, gotcha. Sounds good, sounds good. Oh, gotcha. You about to say, yeah, you gotta get the free trial going. That's how you do it, that's how you do it. Oh, no, don't disconnect from the internet. All right, it sounds good, sounds good. But this is, okay, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Because I'm excited to see, now here's the biggest thing. We have, we are kind of an interesting team. Ready, sick, let's go. We have an interesting team though. We have primarily level 30 Pokemon. And the rule is the lowest level Pokemon gets booted. Which is difficult because a lot of them are the same level, so. But I think I have an idea. I totally forgot to like. I'm gonna send you Bowie because I forgot to like. <laughs> I forgot to um, catch your Pokemon. So that's my bad. Yo, shout out Zero for donating $10. Thank you, Zero. 
for your donation. We are now at 310 and one cent. Thank you, Zero. I appreciate it. Way to get the stream rolling. Way to get the stream rolling. A Charmander. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Heist for Charmander. Let's do this. You just got, wait, you got a legit shining a wonder trade? Holy cow. That's nuts. All right. We got $10. We got $65. We got a Charmander. Let's see what Char where Charmander ends up on the team, though. I think, I think I have, I think I might have an idea of where Charmander might need to fit. Might have an idea, but, but we'll see. We shall see. Is this still... Oh, it's still communicating. My god, this is so slow. But yeah, let's roll those hypes out, y'all. Get the hypes rolling. <laughs> While this communicates for an hour and a half, for some reason. It's making a weird connection. But, you know, we're doing our best. We're doing our best. I don't even know why. I don't know why it's... I have... There we go, communicating, please stand by. Here we go, here we go. It's working, it's working. It's working. That's fair, but I say the hacked Pokemon are always hard to tell. It's hard to tell sometimes. Goodbye, Bowie. Goodbye. Oh, gotcha, no worries. Ooh. -hoo -hoo. Get a little Charmander in a Luxury Ball. That's a cool Pokeball. Nice! Level 20! Okay, okay. We got a level 20 Charmander. Not bad, not bad. So, because it is a trade Pokemon, it automatically gets added to the team. Yeah, I was say, one orange... One orange bipedal Pokemon for another. <laughs> so automatically gets added to the team. And I'm thinking. I'm thinking. That because it's a fire type. I guess Cherry is also a fire type. Cherry might have to go. This might be the end of Cherry, but... It also might not be. Because... If you think about it, Chonkula is a Route 1 Pokemon. It's not very good. It's pretty low level. But, Howard! Howard is still at its first evolution. Everything else is either fully evolved or at its second stage. So, we have three options. Cherry, Chonkula, and Howard. Because Cactus is safe, because Cactus was sent via, um, via Aster. So Cactus is safe. We got three Pokemon here. So if you think Cherry deserves to get cut, start spamming one. If you think Chonkula deserves to be cut, start spamming two. And if you think Howard deserves to be cut, start spamming three. What do y'all think? If you want spam whatever you want cut to be replaced with Charmander. And while y'all do that, I'm going to see what Charmander has going on for itself. This is actually pretty cool. It has solar power. That's not bad. Well, you better start spamming one of the other two. <laughs> we got one vote. We got one, two. Oh. Chonkula's getting Chonkula's getting hit hard Oh uh, I don't know Some ooh, Looks like more twos popping in Primarily Aster going for one Oh 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 man, oh man. 
I think overall... Ooh, I've actually seen a lot of... Actually, hold on. I've seen a lot of... <laughs> I've seen a lot of ones. We're going with Cherry. <laughs> the twos had it at first, but the ones, the ones started to take it. I've seen a lot of y'all with the ones are really fast. The twos were coming in. The twos were coming in, but, but. I think this is just where we're at. This is where we're at. <laughs> Thank you all. Thank you all for playing this fun little game. I started seeing way more ones coming in. So, unfortunately, I don't know. <laughs> luckily though, luckily, I mean, fire type for a fire type, it kind of works. Training montage, well, training montage is gonna be um, whatever I have in my bag. <laughs> yep. Ooh, that wasn't a lot. There we go. We got one level. Well, Charmander's evolving. Neat. <laughs> hey. Now we got Charmeleon. Let's go. Welcome back, Long Fork. Welcome back. Also known as Abigail. <laughs> All right. And that's going to be good for right now. Let's check out his moves, though. Can I remember? Do you got any other moves? What is up, homie? What's up? <laughs> a little late for the twos. A little late for the twos, but that's okay. Its ability is solar power. So in harsh sunlight, it raises its special attack, but it also loses health every turn. So kind of a... Kind of a big one. It's kind of a, it's kind of a double-edged sword, but that, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Can I? Ah, oh, I can't change the name on it. That's okay. It's funny. Yeah, only in harsh sunlight. Only in the harsh sunlight. So, it's still, it's still okay for now. It's still okay for now. I'm actually going to change held item. Oops. Because it's no longer, yeah, this is now probably one of the fastest Pokemon on my team. We'll put that away. And I'm going to give Dawn Fan. Yo, what up, Ken? What is up? Welcome, homie. Welcome, welcome. I had to make sure I was looking at your name right. I was like, wait, am I looking at the right person? <laughs> welcome to Korn's Quest. We're out here having fun. Playing Pokemon and raising money and raising awareness for the World Wildlife Fund. Oops. And we're having a blast. We have lots of awesome people joining us tonight. We just got a trade. We are we just defeated a Pokemon gym. For everyone new, what is your favorite Pokemon? My favorite Pokemon is that little Don fan right there. A little Don fan. I'm a big, big, big fan. Lizardo? Is that really its name? That's cool. That's cool, though. Lizardo? That's the best. The Japanese names are, like, really, really unique. You, like, your favorite's Diglett? That is really unique. Speaking of unique, Entei's still the favorite? Of course, of course. Thank you, Zero, for another $10. Thank you. We got $320 now. For again, for those of you that might be new, we are raising money for the World Wildlife Fund. I would appreciate a donation of any kind. We have a random quester hitting our highest donation right now with $65 is the top donation. At $500, we can add more Pokemon to be able to join the party. So that'll be super fun. I know, I should buy charcoal. I'll have to I'll have to go find some wherever it's at. That's A-OK, -okay because if you don't want to, or if you can't, or don't want to donate actual money, you can simply share the stream, share the link, 
be an advocate. And that's just as good. That is just as appreciated. Because I fully understand that not everyone can. That's A-OK. -okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure... Is it? Is that this town? Where am I? I don't know where I'm even at. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, so where am I going now? Am I going to Larry? Is Larry next? The normal gym badge? Or do I need to go... To the poison? Am I going here? What's my next... Does anybody know what I'm doing next? I don't think I don't think I need to go to the mountain yet. I don't think I need to go to the mountain. Poison Team Star Base is level 33. Dope. I'll take that. Oops. Heck yeah. Poison Team Star. That's the way. To How can I? Ooh, I can't. Larry's after. Love that. That's gonna be kind of. I feel like Larry's gonna be kind of hard to beat. Not gonna lie. I feel like Larry, Larry's gonna be Larry's gonna be tricky. Larry's gonna be really really tricky. Also, speaking of Diglett, Ken, did you know Diglett being based off of a mole, specifically a star nose mole, I believe, even though it doesn't have a star nose. Um, star nose moles are practically blind, but they have a really really good sense of smell, and I think they can also swim really really well. They're very durable. They're very very durable little critters. So. Fun little fact about that. Cactus is gonna come in so like Cactus and Howard. Because Howard has psychic moves. So those two are gonna be awesome. And then having Chonkula as a backup, because Chonkula has dig. Also will be really, really solid. <laughs> so we're we're set up for success right here. We are We are very well we're very well set up. We're in East Province 3. Um, we already caught a Pokemon over here. Yep, about to say, we are, we're a little under-leveled, we're a little under-leveled, so we're gonna find any and all trainers we possibly can. We're not gonna make a direct beeline. We do need to find some trainers to fight, because I think Howard is about to evolve. I think Howard is almost at evolution level. I think, what, what did we find out? Howard evolves at level 33, at 31? Oh! I, okay, I didn't mean to run into you, but maybe Howard can evolve? Maybe we can get a Psyduck? Water Pulse? Maybe? If I keep, maybe if I keep raising my voice, it'll be true? Is that how it works? Ow, oh, not 31. Dang. <laughs> Well, see, that's the that's the fun part about my recent streams. All my recent streams... Oh, 33? That sucks. All my recent streams have been um, very tailored to, like, an event. Like, the Sun and Moon thing was a challenge I was doing to hit 1,000 subscribers, which I did. Um, and I'm now a YouTube partner, so I appreciate that and all the members will be happy to know that more more cool content's coming so if you're not a member yet you got to get in on it y'all you got to get in on being a member and get some awesome awesome content but um i digress <laughs> that was a challenge to try and hit 1000 subscribers so we could technically forget about it this one is a challenge for <laughs> a charity event so, it's also kind of like, you know, once once the actual charity event's over, like once the donation link is closed, I could, <laughs> like, I, I could stop. I did, I hit it twice, but, um, you know, I kept it the second time. The first time I technically, I technically dipped below. I technically did not, I hit it. And then I, I I lost it because of I'm assuming bots, I'm assuming bots kind of uh kind of padded that a little bit on accident. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Like that's just part of it. Like there's lots of things like that where like bots will come into play. 
but it's okay. It could be worse. I could, at least I ended up hitting it. That's always, you know, that's ultimately the the best thing about it is that I'm, I never stopped <laughs> gaining subscribers. And I have like a thousand and sixty something, I think, like low sixties, but we're, we're making progress and we have watch hours up the wazoo. Holy cow. We have so many watch hours on the channel. It's fan it's fantastic. You wait, you can glitch out the map at blue. Why is this game so glitchy? Why does this game have to be so glitchy? Like, it's cool. I love the games, but like, why do they gotta be so glitchy? Yo, what up, Callan? Welcome back, homie. Welcome back. Welcome. Unfortunately, you did miss the raffle, but that's okay. That's okay. We got a cool Charmander. We got a cool Charmander from the raffle. I'm trying to find people to fight. Pokemon games are just really testing their boundaries. Like, they're really stretching themselves to, like, the maximum limit. And, yeah, like, well, that's the thing, is that there were so many unused Pokemon in the first game installation because of space. Like, literally because they were, like, needed to conserve space for, like, the actual game and stuff like that. Like, that's where all, the, like, the... Apparently, a lot of two-stage Pokemon were three stages. Like, Psyduck was a three-stage Pokemon. But they had to cut the middle stage because they needed more space. So, yeah, they definitely have always been... They've been a little funky. They've definitely always been a little bit funky in the sense of... You could you can have some... If you, put, if you push them too hard, you can have some fun with it. But I feel like in the, like, recent games, they've become a little too, like, not, like, too glitchy, but, like, you know, like, I think they're just trying to do too much at once. Like, the maps are just loading, like, too fast. Or, like, it's just kind of, I don't know. It's just getting a little bit, like, a lot. Not, I mean, I mean oh, wait, no, this is a, this is a poison type, so I think I'm okay. Wait, is Coolfish a poison type? This is a poison type, right? So Zen Headbutt? I think? I don't know for a fact if Diglett was or not, but like, that wouldn't surprise me. Given that there was a lot of other Pokemon that were supposed to be three stages, that would not surprise me that Diglett was also a three stage Pokemon. Ah, crap. I thought I thought it might poison me. I thought I might get poisoned. Ah, shoot. That's okay though. That's okay. We'll make do. We'll make do. Yeah, like that's the thing with, like especially when you start. So I feel like when you, they were doing Game Boy games and even DS games, it was easy to pump out games often because you're using a lot of like still images like you're using like sprites and stuff like that you weren't the switch and like the Wii and stuff the world is so alive that I feel like it's really it's tricky it's really tricky to like actually get it to look right and still keep content rolling out within the normal time span that like it typically does the Wii is such an interesting device the Wii was it was cool I love the Wii the Wii U is a little weird but the actual Wii was really that was a unique system that much I think much like the switch turned gaming systems up on their heads I think the Wii was the first installation of, like, we're going to do something kind of wild. And I think it paid off really, really well. It was also my childhood. <laughs> it was such a good, it was such a good system. It was so cool. Like, also just the fact that it was this system of, like, physicality to it. 
like there were games where like they and they tried to do the whole marketing of like oh it's fitness like you can be healthy playing a video game but it's just kind of fun to be standing up and like playing like mario and sonic at the olympic games where you're like running or you're doing like the little motion for like the swimming or like you have to throw your javelin or something there's a lot there's a lot of charm to the wii that i think unfortunately is like lost like oh wait what is this shut up wait Wait, 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 wait. Punching moves. Does force palm count as a punching move? How does that work? Does that count? Should I give this thing the punching glove? Also, I I love Twilight Princess. But Twilight Princess is actually a GameCube game. It got a Wii remake, but that is also what I... I, I played Twilight Princess on the Wii. I, yeah, I did not play it on the GameCube, but it technically was a GameCube game. So, fun little, fun little fact. Fun little fact of the day. Have we been to this area yet? Area 3? Yeah, we have. Yeah, we've been here. It's getting harder to remember what areas we've covered. <laughs> I'm trying to think. I'm trying to, like, make sure I don't miss an encounter, but it's hard. Oh, they got to have punch in the name. That's stupid. I feel like it should just be for, like, I feel like if you're a fighting type Pokemon, it should also work. What? Why am I fighting? Why am I fighting you? Wait, what? A shiny... Wait. Where? Where? No. No. No! It doesn't have blue... It doesn't have a blue nose. I'll fight it and prove it. It doesn't have a blue nose. Keep going back? What did I say? I was like, wait a minute. Aqua Tail. <laughs> eh, I gotta, I gotta level up a little bit anyway. There we go. Honestly, Don Fan is probably gonna crush this. Yeah, Charmeleon. Get some levels. Get some levels, little buddy. Get some levels. No, you're good. I'm just always... I'm hyper-vigilant. I'm not, but... <laughs> it's... It's hard to tell sometimes. It is hard to tell. Just because, like... You really... You really want it to be shiny. The best grass type? You know the best grass type... Is gotta be Little Tangula. Little Tangula, Meganium. She's a boss. I got, I gotta love Meganium. Meganium is a really cool grass type. God, but I feel, I like Tangula quite a bit. Rowlet, the little grass orb, the little grass er, orb. Jamer, how the hell do you do that? How does Jamer Jamer pops in every single time we talk about grass types? Nowhere to be seen. Do you two like? Hold on, Callan. Do you know Jamer? Are you guys like in the same room or something? I feel like it was one of those things of like, hey, check this out. Or Jamer's been lurking and just waiting for the opportunity of like, I'm not going to make myself known until I see uh, someone talk about grass types. You're at work. A typical, a typical excuse. All right. We're at Tag Tree Thicket, which means we have an encounter. Which means we're going to run... Uh, Okay, so what that would have meant was that we are going to run in a straight line until we find an encounter, but 
uh, the director here decided to um, kind of decided to ruin our steam there a little bit and uh, not let us do our encounter. But that's okay. Okay, let's go this way. Also, Jamer, if you look up in the top corner, unfortunately, you're no longer the top donator. Some anonymous person came in and donated $65. I don't know who that person was, but they dethroned you like a boss. Okay, we are running in a straight line. I can't see where I'm going. Oh! We hit a... I, I can catch a squirrel. Squirrels are abundant in nature, so I'm going to catch a squirrel. All right. I want to need some nicknames for Greedent over here. I'm going to need some nicknames for... Gr Peter Griffin! <laughs> oh, my... No! Peter. <laughs> Why was that so immediate? Raspberry! That's cute. <laughs> The fact that Peter Griffin was so immediate of just, like, name it Peter Griffin. It's a big, fat squirrel. <laughs> Everyone wants to name it Peter. All right, we'll name it Peter. We'll name it Peter Griffin. Oh, Bucky or Busey, Bucky, however you say it. Yeah. No. Yo, Jamer donating $65 in one cent. <laughs> Jamer. $385 and two cents shout out <laughs> shout out to the corns quest community Just donating on a pure spite for one another. <laughs> oh My seriously Like you've already donated so much that wasn't a call out to donate that was just <laughs> I Just thought you wanted to know Oh my god Donate for hate. <laughs> Save the planet. By being the number one donator. His middle name is Raspberry, yes. This is Peter Raspberry Griffin. Can I name it Peter Griffin entirely? Like, will it tell me... Do I have enough characters? Peter. I can't fit Raspberry, but that's okay. Oops, that's a four. Ah, if I... Hold on. So, I don't think Peter Griffin, though, is going to join the team. Just because I don't think it's at a high enough level. So, can I add it to the... What, what, what is the... What is everyone else? Ah, so it's a, it's a higher level than Charmeleon. But Charmeleon is safe because Charmeleon was sent to me via the donation uh, of... 5,000 gold pieces, so Peter Griffin will not join the party, but, I mean, that's still a cool Pokemon. I do like Greedent. It's a neat, it's a neat little Pokemon. And now, I need, oh, we found a sweet, yo, oh, if we find an Applin, or if someone trades an Applin, that'd be so cool, that'd be so cool. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. What's the best grass dragon type pre-gen 8? There isn't one. Is there? No. Is there? Wait. No. There is not a... Stop. There is not a grass dragon type pre-gen 8. Grass Dragon? A tree? What? A tree? Ow! Alolan Exec- You're right. Alolan Executor. Terex Dragon Bulbasaur. <laughs> Pre-Gen- Pre-Gen 8. Pre-Gen 8. 
Oh, Mega... I'm... Oh, my God. You guys are clever. Yeah, Mega Sceptile. Dang. Well, joke's on me for thinking I know Pokemon. When I clearly... I clearly don't. I clearly... I clearly don't know what I'm talking about. That... That's a cl that's a clever little piece of trivia. That's a clever little piece of trivia right there. I thought Applin was like the first, but no, you guys are totally right. Because a low no, not even a lone executor was first. It was yeah, the Septile Septile was first. Then a lone executor. Oh my god. Ah well, have a good night, Jamer. I hope you, <laughs> I hope you make some money. Thank you for your donations. We we greatly appreciate it. Ooh, poison dark type is such a cool like scum. I'm a, so this might be a hot take. This might be a hot take. I am a big fan of skunk tank over drapion. I don't I don't know if that's really you know like. I don't know if that's a hot take, but I really do. I really do like it way more. Mainly because I feel like Drapion shouldn't be a dark poison type. But that's just, I don't know, that's just me. <laughs> Everyone's trying to resummon Jamer. <laughs> Everyone's like, let's keep saying grass and grass type. Maybe Jamer will come back. Oh my god. <laughs> Jamer, yeah, I must say, I think Jamer says they work on... I don't think that's a... Nope. I was like, I don't think that's a shiny. <laughs> I thought... It... Mimikyu is hard to tell if it's shiny or not because it's... It's a gray, it's a gray pattern. So that just gets tricky. That just, that just gets tricky. He immediately posted in the Discord. Oh my god. Oh my god, Jamer. Oh, another sweet apple. Nice. Okay, let's just go fight. I think we're good to go fight Team Star. Grass is green. We're running around the green grass, and I would highly encourage everyone to go touch grass. Hey question for everyone because i recently found out this isn't common knowledge how many neck bones does a giraffe have i want i want i want to know what everyone thinks how many neck bones how many vertebrae neck vertebrae does a does a full grown giraffe have who did their taxes this guy begrudgingly i didn't want to but apparently i had to Otherwise, I was gonna go to federal prison. Z okay. Okay, Callan, uh, giraffes do have neck bones. Giraffes do, in fact, have neck bones. But I'm wondering, I wanna know how many people, they're like plastic. <laughs> oh my god, there's nothing. <laughs> Is it two? Two neck bones? Yo, that would be, you're kind of on the right track, but that's, that would be insane. Seven, 15. Interesting, interesting. Well, seven is not only cool, but it is correct. They have the same number of neck bones as we do. Isn't that nuts? The question was how many neck bones does a giraffe have? And they have the same amount as us at seven. They have seven neck bones. They're just big. Isn't that nuts? Like that we literally share the same amount of neck bone as the tallest land animal on earth. It's just like the more you know. Like just weird weird wild facts with corn over here gosh dang it that did like no damage it's all an illusion i i could probably assure you it's not but i 
I think there's other factors that would lead to you becoming a giraffe, but maybe, maybe. <laughs> you should have gone with your instinct. You should have gone with the, yeah, your initial idea that they have seven. They have seven. It's a weird, it's a weird little fun fact. Yeah, I love giraffes. That, yeah, the One Piece giraffe guy really, he really, he is really cool. I, which is so funny because gira giraffes really are cool, but One Piece made it such a meme of that guy getting the giraffe giraffe fruit, which is pretty stupid, but not as bad as one of the, uh, one of the, um, members of Kaido's crew where literally dude sprouted a whole giraffe out of his back and was the head like one piece gets weird with giraffes yo what up rain thank you for joining thank you for joining ah i don't know who's up front or i don't know who's gonna i don't know cactus go out there What's up, Rain? Stream's going good. We've raised $385.02. So that's cool. Oh, perfect Pokemon. Perfect Pokemon. Yep, Blue won the raffle. Got ourselves a Charmander on the team. Or a Charmeleon, I should say. We summoned Jamer. <laughs> and Jamer had to defend their title of the top donator. At sixty-five dollars and one cent, <laughs> I schooled this guy. That's good. Okay, now, now we're ready. Now we can go fight. I am lost. I don't know where I'm at. So I'm gonna go. Where am I? Oh my god. Yeah, I gotta go fly here. I gotta heal anyway, but good lord, I am... I, I, I was like off the map. Yeah, I was talking about giraffes, seeing how many neck bones everyone thinks they have. They do, in fact, have seven. Wanted to make that clear. Just a cool little fun fact. Charme yeah, it's, it's now a Charmeleon. It's pretty cute. Yeah, I about to say, it's going to be, hope, hopefully someone can learn it. But what I need to do, honestly, put away the held item. I need to change the held item. Even though the soft sand is really good, there's no way I can one-shot. I can't one-shot the Star Mobile, so I'm going to need the clear amulet on it. That's the only, I think that's, that's just going to be a big, that's going to be a big help. Giraffes are awesome. I love giraffes. Giraffes are cool. Fun fact, yes, and so kind of fun fact. Um, apparently, the large mammal staff at the zoo I work at is a wee bit understaffed for the amount of giraffes we have, which means I get to help feed the giraffes from time to time uh, while the actual zookeepers train all the other ones my job is to distract that's apparently what my job is is i am there to distract the giraffe so that everyone else can do the actual work <laughs> so that the little giraffe doesn't come over and be like hey what else what does everyone else have but they're super smart like all the giraffes are target trained to identify themselves as a uh as a shape as a colored shape. So the giraffe I had, um, whose name is Bakari, he's the baby, knows that if he sees a, um, a what do you call it, a, a yellow star, that he needs to walk up to it. And he did, and we were buddies, and he ate from my hand. He just, I fed him carrots, and I told him he was a good boy while the zookeepers did their work, and he was a good boy, and just, Hung out. <laughs> Later, Rain. Thanks for hopping in. So, Mavis, we actually do have... We have an Okabe Pokemon that was a Fakemon created by uh, Papasicle. Because I... 
literally after spending an entire summer with the Okapi that's at the zoo, I was like, we need to have, we need an Okapi Pokemon. So, Popsicle made an Okapi Pokemon, and it's really cool. It's a cool one. What's the best Digimon? I like the Polar Bear guy. There's a Polar Bear one, right? Yeah, but it's, it's definitely, it's in the, it's in our art channel. It's in our art channel, so like you can see it there. But yeah, I, you might like. Hopefully, you've seen it just posted other places. It's cool. It's really cool. I like it. Aww, they're so tall. They fall six feet. When they're born, they have a six foot drop right to the ground. That's insane. Like. This is the highest drop of any animal giving birth. <laughs> yeah, living room TV screams. Let's go. Shrewdle. Keep battling. Ah, I don't know Yokai Watch. I don't know that. No. I'm sorry. I try I try to keep up with things, but like I do my best. I do my best. I typically forget. Or like I don't know, I don't know what everything is. But I'd love to learn what it is. It's old. What it like? What is it? Is it like a? Is it like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Like Pokemon-esque type thing? Like a Digimon type of thing? I feel like I've heard of it. I just don't know what it is. Oh, that's the thing. Yeah, that's like the immediate. Oh, that's like the immediate thing. They drop six feet and then they're just ready to go they're just like all right like i am i they're like i'm ready to start living my life as a giraffe i just hit the world at from six feet high and we're ready to go they are crazy the giraffes are so freaking weird they are so cool though like oh my god i found out uh the person that's like the boss at my zoo is uh, is allergic to giraffe saliva. She loves she loves the giraffes. She loves them so so much, um, and she will break out in hives when they <laughs> if when she's feeding them and they get their like tongue slobber on you. She will break out in hives, and I feel I feel so bad, but she loves it. She's like I don't care. She's like I just. I just go wash my hands, but apparently she was. We used to have back in the day. We used to have bongos. If anyone knows what those things are, they're like these red deer. Yup, gotta get the bets going. Gotta get the bets. How many Pokemon will I lose? How many Pokemon will I lose? But these like they're like these like uh, red and white striped forest like deer antelope thingies. Um, and she apparently had a full-blown allergic reaction after cleaning their habitat. It was so... I was like, what? She's like, yeah, that's when I found out I was allergic. <laughs> and I'm like, that's so sad. Because she just loves what she does. And it's like, oh no, you're allergic to your favorite animal. It's so it's so sad, but it's also... It's kind of funny. Just because it's like, what are the odds? Place your bets. Place your bets. We're going up against these poison type gym leader or this poison team star member. We should be sitting pretty good as far as like we should be sitting good for being able to defeat them. I'm not too I'm not too nervous about it. So hopefully we can hopefully we can do a pretty easy battle here. Hopefully we can knock them out pretty quick. But I mean, you don't, you don't know. I guess no one no one knows. No one knows. God, we got we're using up so many quarters on this vending machine. Got to heal all of our Pokémon. Where you at over here? There you go. Go fight them. Go fight them. 
Okay, okay, get, get, get your bets in, because once we... There we go! Get your bets in, get your bets in! We got 389 bets. 389 gold pieces on the line. The betting has been closed because we are about to go fight. Thank you. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Timbo is giving you guys money. If I win, then that means you guys at least get something. Because if everyone bets on the same thing, then no one gets anything. And Atticus is going to go down. So at least people will get something. <laughs> Tim... Tempo's giving, Tempo's giving out money. Alright, let's do this. I... I'm intrigued. Time to see what happens, y'all. We are rocking this stream with $385 and 2 cents. We have a fully functioning team ahead of us. And we can knock these out easy. Easy. Atticus, you're going down. You're going down. Terrasalize. Oh, we have a Terrasalize Terra Blast. I forgot about this. I'm going to save that. I'm going to save that. Let's go. I'm just going to ramp myself up. Boom. Look at this big earth boy. Cactus coming in clutch. Coming in clutch, y'all. The roly-poly elephant is getting poisoned, but that's okay. It was badly poisoned. I'll I'll take care of him in a second. I'll I'll, I'll heal him up. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's go. This thing's gonna wreck all these Pokemon. A rever room? Keep battling. Keep battling. I'm not concerned. I like that Atticus has two cars, essentially. A rever room and... Like, the rever room that is the, like, main battle. About to say, Aster? Donphan is coming in clutch. Donphan is gonna wreak havoc on this Team Star battle. We got Hokage Atticus over here. Believe it. Earthquake is such a overpowered move. Oh, I flinched. Interesting. Okay, okay. Okay. About to say. Okay. This to Earthquake? Earthquake? Yeah, there it goes. This is gonna knock. This is gonna knock its socks off. <laughs> One shot. Let's go, Questers. Let's go. A muck. Will I switch my Pokemon? No, I'm gonna keep battling. I got no reason to switch. I forgot that now they're having kind of a, like, this is where they start getting more Pokemon. I'm healing, I'm healing. I'm healing. Yeah, I forgot they're no longer having just, like, two. Sludge Wave? That's fine, not very effective. Let's go with an Earthquake. Um, I'm faster, I'm faster, of course, I'm faster. ha 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 ha! We are going to end stream on such a high note. We got 10 minutes left, y'all. 10 minutes left. Sending out the Reva Room. Who wants to see what Terra Blast can do? I I want to see what... Honestly, if I let Cactus die, I'm going to cry. Terra Blast, let's do this. Spin out? Oh, God. That does nothing! Oh, and it's Speed Falls! Oh, God. Oh, that's...
that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Toxic debris. That's not good. But I say hit hit him with that earthquake. Hit him with the earthquake. How's this thing still going faster than me? That's I don't I don't understand that, but okay. Oh! That's in that was an unimaginable amount of damage right there. Yo, Cactus is for the win. Two shots? Two shots? Could you imagine if I had the soft sand? Oh. We did not lose a single Pokemon in that battle. Yo. That was nuts. Oh my god. That's crazy. It's just like... Oh, I need to add... I think I need to make a Dawn fan on... Which, maybe I'm over... Maybe I'm overcorrecting. But I feel like I need to make a Dawn fan for... My... Um, for my competitive teams. I feel like I love Dawn fan so much... That I need to have it as a competitive Pokemon. Because it's... It's weirdly good. It's actually weirdly good. I feel like no one will expect it. Seriously, yeah. We're going to spend the next five minutes in cutscenes. We need Don... Don fans are hard to make. I've tried. <laughs> we also need more members to get more emotes. So, if y'all for 99 cents want to help us get more emote slots, I will gladly do my best to get some Don fan emotes. Um, I think we need to get to... Uh, like seven or ten members i think we're at about like uh i think we're at six members right now that unlocked the last emote slot so we'll be able like hopefully hopefully soon hopefully soon i'm adding i'm working on a lot of projects right now to add some value to the membership stuff even more so so y'all stay tuned for that but this stream is not about being a Quartz Quest member. This stream is about giving back to the World Wildlife Fund and helping us raise money to combat climate change, which is really, really cool that we have raised $385.02 so far, which is amazing. Oz, thank you, Zero, a first-time quester, also donating 20 bucks. Some anonymous person donating $65. Jamer. Donating $65.01 out of hate. Save the birds. Save So, fun fact, actually, that I learned. Um, rhinos have seen a decrease in poaching. Rhin uh, at least in the eastern black rhinoceros, they are actually on the rise. They are actually getting pretty... They're still critically endangered. Um, but their numbers are doing pretty good. Their numbers are doing pretty good. Uh, poaching is at a low for them, which is nice, because they were poached, uh, for their horns. So that's cool that they're, you know, not being poached for their horns. Um, but the downside is that apparently now... So apparently now rhinos are facing a problem of genetic diversity. There's not enough, <laughs> like... They're now running into this issue of, like, it's becoming very tricky for them to have a genetically diverse population. Which is not so good, because that means that they're susceptible to diseases. It's, like, it's essentially, like, inbreeding. They're not inbreeding, but, like, the genetic pool of what they can fight off, the, like, strengths and weaknesses. Like, again, if you, for example, if people hunt the largest animals... If we just hunt them so regularly that we remove some of the largest animals from a population, the animals are going to get smaller. All the ones that we aren't hunting are going to become more prominent. Like, if, say, oh, rhinos used to be, like, 4,000 pounds, but all the 4,000 pound ones were getting hunted. Now they're getting more in the uh, 2,500 range. They're gonna just get smaller. 
A. Don't worry, don't worry, because it is positive. Because zoos in other facilities across the country, across the world, can easily help with genetic diversity by having rhinos in captivity, raising them to be returned to the wild, and hopefully spark some reintrodu reintroduction. So that's the positive, is that this is a much easier problem to fix than poaching. Or theoretically, it's a little bit easier because we can have diverse populations in the world, it's just in the wild, they're a little less, they need some help. So hopefully we can find some more rhinos to send back out into the wild, which have had, we've had success stories of sending animals back out into the wild uh, to reform groups. So it's really, really cool. Cincinnati Zoo is doing fantastic work. Cincinnati Zoo is a huge, huge zoo that is doing lots of really cool things. I have a coworker that used to work at Cincinnati. Um, her specialty is FUSA. And if you want to talk about a population that needs more genetic diversity, it's FUSAs. But she's had a lot of great success breeding some FUSA as of late, so shout out to the FUSA community. <laughs> That's I think I think almost every state does have a zoo, which is pretty cool. Some have multiple, but yeah, zoos are like a must-see attraction now. Whenever I travel, I try I try to go to zoos or some kind of like animal or nature facility anytime I travel now. But yeah, no, like so that's kind of a fun that's a fun conservation thing to end on is that rhinos. Rhinos have a bright future. Rhinos are... It's looking up for the rhinos. It's looking up for the rhinos. Just like it's looking up for our stream team. Look at these Pokemon, y'all. They are doing so good. We got such a great... We got such a great group of Pokemon. I'm gonna take off the clear amulet because that's not necessary. And I think we're getting... I think we're getting to the end here, y'all. I think we're getting to the end where... We got unfortunately say... Good night. Oh, I have been to St. Louis. Yes, I've been to the St. Louis Zoo. Um, one of my colleagues from college works now at the St. Louis Zoo. Uh, I love it. It's a, That's a really, really good zoo. I look at that zoo often for, like, uh, my own kind of, like, work. Like, if I'm, trying to, if I'm trying to think of something cool to do at the zoo that I work at, I definitely go to their page and check it out. They have... They just had their Amur Tiger Cubs go outside for the first time. So that's really, really cute. They have, I think, three Amur Tiger Cubs um, that now I think are outside. I saw them share something today. So that's really, really cool. And I want to thank everyone for joining this stream. We are killing it, y'all. We are killing it. Look at this amazing team of Pokemon with Chonkula, Howard, Cactus, Charmeleon, Lemon and Onion, we're doing great, y'all. We're doing great. And again, shout out to everyone that has spread the awareness of the stream, spread the awareness of Stream 60, who have donated. Thank you all for helping us reach our goals of $385.02, getting really, really close to the halfway point of 1,000. We have only one more stream left where we're raising money for the World Wildlife Fund, but the link will not close until Earth Day. So make sure y'all check out um, all the like the link page and donation page until next Monday, Earth Day. So you can find the donation link in the description of these videos uh, so that you can then see um, what the progress is. You can go to the, uh, you know, what do you call it? Um, the channel banner has what the link is called and stuff too. So that's really cool. And again, I want to thank everyone for joining me. If you want more Corn's Quest, make sure to follow the social media links. I got TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, all sorts of all threads, what have you. Um, and yeah, I will hope to see y'all in, in the Discord. It's been really, really fun. We've got tomorrow night from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. Central. Moving on. Is there really a shiny... Is there really? I don't think it is. 
I don't think... Watch. I don't think it is. See? KO'd. KO'd. <laughs> Get... Well, I want to thank you all for joining me. This was super, super fun. And I hope to see you all tomorrow night. Until next time, happy questing, y'all.